So what do you do when circumstances change the way you feel and you no longer feel so good? Hi, this is Non-Monogamous Mark. I'm the co-founder and, and executive director of Ethical and Consensual Non-Monogamous Lifestyles Association. And we are on day nine of our 14-day challenge of feeling really good. You know, and, and that's a 14-day challenge that could be ongoing because if you if something comes along on a part of a day where you don't feel so good, then you're encouraged to start the challenge over from day one until you go 14 full days practicing feeling really good. And that's the idea here is by practicing feeling really good, then you start shifting the, the energy that you have about your life so that you are able to go and feel better and better from day to day and go longer and feeling good. And then you also you learn to, to start taking charge of your feelings and taking charge of the fact that circumstances come along. You know, we, we all have problems and we all have negativity and negative situations that are all around us. But, you know, it's hard not to react to those and let those things take you down. But that's really part of the point of this challenge is to practice feeling really good and realize that you not, you're, you're, so when something comes along in a, a circumstance, a problem or whatever it is that kind of knocks you off your, pe your, your, your positive pedestal and suddenly you're not feeling so good. You know, the thing is that you, is faster that you're able to understand that you're not totally powerless, that you do have power. And so I'm going to give you some tips here today about how to take and get back into a place of feeling empowered with your feelings. Because as long as you feel disempowered, then you're going to remain in a place of feeling mad. And once you start feeling empowered, then you get to that place where you start feeling really good. Now, that's a journey that we go on. You know, I, I mentioned in this, in this series of videos that I've made for this challenge, I mentioned before about how when my wife of 33 years said that she was going to change direction in her life and my, her future didn't include me, that I went into a stage of three months of depression. And, but then it was just one day. I went to bed one night. The next morning I woke up. And that one morning I woke up and I said, wait a minute. I can take, be in charge of me here. I don't have to allow her to also be in charge of me and feel like that I'm being railroaded. I can be in charge of me and I can give her the freedom and love her to be able to allow her to be in charge of her. And if that's what's going to make her happier, then great. I can, I can be fine with that and be in charge with my life and just moving on to moving forward with my life. And so that was a decision that came one morning. One of the things that happens is that, is that every night when we go to bed, no matter what negative situations are going on in our life, no matter what you know, um, problems we have, when we go are sleeping, those that time that when we are sleeping, none of that is 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 causing us to have negative feelings. All of that just seems to go away. It's part of the of, of a, our spiritual nature and how we our lives work. Is that at night when we're sleeping, all that just goes away. And when you are first few minutes that you get up in the morning, when you first wake up, not get up, but when you first few minutes you wake up in the morning, then you you have kind of like a fresh outlook. It's like every day you get up, you have that opportunity to hit the, the start over button. And today I'm going to start over by practicing feeling really good. And that's basically what I had done is that I can't, ex I couldn't explain for a long time really how that happened where I just went from being severely depressed and then the next day, starting to not be depressed. Now, it wasn't that I was feeling blissful the next day, but I was taking charge. And so no longer did I feel the despair of disempowerment. I was feeling empowered because I was taking charge and I worked myself through my negative feelings. And I was on a journey then to become in a place where I felt like I was feeling really good. And it, it was a journey that I took myself play through. And I'll be talking more about the emotional journey on another video. But for right now, I just want you to understand that that first few minutes that you wake up every morning, you get to start each and every day over. And when you start each and every day over, then you have the opportunity 
to say, I'm in charge here and I'm going to empower myself to feel good. I'm going to practice feeling good. And then what you do is you just, it, well, you, throughout the day, when things, challenges and problems come at you and negativity come at you, throughout the day, you have, part of practicing feeling really good is, is taking conscious control of your thoughts. And when things come along that want to kind of just chop you, chop you down and make you feel bad, when those kinds of things come along, circumstances, problems, negativity, you know, kids or parents or, you know, bosses and coworkers or whatever, bills, you know, whatever happens to come along that wants to chop you, you down, then you have the ability to, to, to not give that momentum. And that becomes part of our habit is that we give the negativity, we give the, ne the problems that come along in our life, we give the circumstances that don't feel so good, we, we give that momentum by then concentrating on that. And so give yourself 10 seconds to concentrate on it, but no more. And then start to shift your thoughts to things that are more positive. You know, they may not make you feel positive right away. They may not make you feel blissful. But just start consciously having positive thoughts, positive thoughts of appreciation. Oh, I'm just so glad I have a nice warm bed to sleep in. I don't have to sleep on a dirt floor. Oh, I'm so glad that I've got nice, clean water to drink. I don't have to go down and boil my water because it's not clean or worry about dysentery and disease because my water I'm drinking is not clean. Oh, I'm so glad to wake up today. I woke up in a wonderful room and my, that room is not jail, <laughs> you know? I mean, that's a good thing, <laughs> you know? And, and gosh, there's so many things throughout the day you can shift your thoughts to you know, they can be silly things or they can be really serious things. Have fun with yourself, though. And that's part of getting back to feeling good is allow yourself to have fun with yourself. And that may mean that sometimes you think of silly things, other times serious things. Other times be people that you think about that just make you feel really good or positive thoughts, you know. Oh, man dinner last night was really good. You know, in fact, it's an interesting thing when you go to a restaurant these days or when you sit down at a meal. You know, people don't show enough and have enough appreciation for the food. In fact, is we're taught almost to be more picky than we are complimentary. And so that we look for the slightest thing that we don't like instead of being complimentary. And so just practice being more complimentary and be more appreciative and have gratitude and be thankful about things. And you will find that we do. We live in a wonderful world. And so, in fact, I'm going to let Louis Armstrong tell you a little bit about that in the song for today. So if you click on the link after this video is done and you'll hear how Louis Armstrong just helps you to understand that we live in a beautiful, wonderful world. And so if you start to just go general, when you are specific, when you keep your, your thoughts on detailed, specific things, you know, things that, of, that you're having to deal with, then keeping your thoughts there just keep you in a place of feeling bad. And when, if you're in a place of feeling bad, you're not in a good place to solve your problems and to in a good place to attract the, the things to you that you're going to need, the people and things to you, they're going to need to solve those problems in very positive and good ways. So they don't just keep repeating themselves over and over again. And so you want to get your mind then on really positive thoughts. And you have the opportunity to do that. And just think about general things. You know, like, oh, the air today smells so good. I don't have to plug my nose because somebody's smoking next to me. You know, the air today just smells good. Oh, the trees, you know, it's been raining outside, and look how green everything is. It's beautiful out there. And yes, even though the rain's coming down, you know, that we're going to have a great summer, and, and we're going to have water, and we're not going to have water shortages. And look how green, and we're going to have flowers blooming soon. And so there's things that you can do to start thinking in general about your life, about you know how good it was to have a good night's sleep and have a good mattress and a warm place to sleep and, and all the kinds of things that you can go on and think about general terms about things that you just love about your life. And everybody has things that they love about their life if they'll start thinking about the general things. 
if you get to where you're thinking details and specifics, we can all get picky and find out things, whether it be something about dinner or whether it be something about breakfast or lunch or whether it be something about a coworker or your spouse or your boyfriend, your girlfriend, you know, and your mom and dad. You can always get picky and find things to pick on. But that's only going to drag yourself down. And so practice feeling good by practicing having good thoughts. And then you'll find that that starts to empower you. Now, this is part of my whole principle that I teach is that you want to grow the things that you want and you want to starve the things that you don't want. However, most of us seem to, to grow the things that we don't want and we starve the things that we do want. And how we do that is with the attention and the energy we give them. And so this is where that 10 seconds I mentioned. You know, when the thoughts come along, you know, and there are problems or whatever. You know, you, you can't solve your problems from a place of feeling bad. Or you can. we all done it and we try. But then you're not going to get the best solutions and the best long-term solutions for, from trying to solve them from a place of feeling bad. So first, work on getting yourself to a place of feeling good. And instead of, of just focusing and just keep mesmerating, mesmerating, commiserating about that problem or that negativity or whatever, then stop. Give yourself 10 seconds and then stop and then shift to thinking about great things. Consciously make it a habit of doing that. And then you'll, the more you do it, then that'll start to become your habit. And that's part of this practicing feeling good. So that you go through day by day by day just feeling good, feeling better and better every day. And then you get to a place where it's just like, wow, it's a, I just feel really good. And so I hope you're feeling really good. If you're not, there's a few little, uh, little tips here on how to get to a place of feeling really good, whether it be start your morning out or whether throughout the day just think about and go in general or think about the things that you really find that you can focus on that are wonderful and just think about those things and let that positive feel good things appreciation and gratitude and those kinds of things just just absorb your thinking and then you'll your feelings will get to a place of feeling good because it's when we feel good our feelings are in a place of positivity pure positive energy that's then when we attract the the highest level of solutions and people and things to our life to meet all of our needs. Otherwise, we're attracting things to us that may meet some of our needs, but it's not pure po positive energy that we're attracting. Well, so thanks a lot and uh, learn more about what we're doing with ECNM Lifestyles Association and Non-Monomous Mark by clicking on that link down below and uh, we'll see you on the next video.